Unfortunately, this is not the first time that violence has visited judges' homes. Now, the threats against judges and people who work in our courts in our area have seen an increase in recent years of these incidents. A chief judge told Maryland lawmakers there were seven threats against Maryland judges last year alone. The I team and reporter Ted Oberg spent the day trying to figure out how serious the threat against judges is, and the results are disturbing. Ted? Yeah, Leon and Erica, they are. We know this is not unique. According to the National Center for State Courts, this is the third targeted shooting of a state judge in the last three years. And information gathered by the I-Team today reveals in this country, judges and court officials are threatened multiple times every day. You'll remember a few of the high profile instances. Last year, a man was arrested and charged with attempted murder near Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh's Chevy Chase home. In 2020, a man killed a judge's son at their home in New Jersey. At the time, Daniel Anderl was a student here at Catholic University. And proving this has gone on for a long time, in 1989, someone sent a pipe bomb to a judge right there in Hagerstown. It exploded in his apartment, but Judge John Quarterman survived. There are no national statistics tracking threats on state judges. Only a few states actually do it. But in the last few years, you can see what's happened to threats against federal judges and court personnel. They're up nine times from 2015 to 2021. That spike coincides with the heightened political rhetoric during former President Trump's time in office. Last year, those threats went way down, but there's still multiples of what they were in 2016. Following today's killing in Hagerstown, the Conference of Chief Justices and Conference of State Court Administrators issued a statement in part reading, the assassination of Judge Wilkinson should be shocking to all Americans. Unfortunately, we fear it's not, the statement said. The sustained attacks in recent years on the rule of law, public institutions of government, and the courts are now having their effects, and we ask all Americans to think carefully about this troubling trend. Congress, by the way, passed a federal law shielding the home addresses of federal judges online just last year. The Center for State Courts says only New Jersey and Oklahoma have done that for state judges. We were able to find Judge Wilkinson's home address on a search engine in seconds. A version of that shielding law in Maryland passed the state Senate last year but could not get out of committee in the House. Mm -hmm.